Mm -hmm. Hi, Stricker. If we could just kind of get a few thoughts on the round today, obviously quite impressive. Uh, yeah, stayed patient really. Uh, didn't, you know, I was only what level five to six. Uh, made a made a really bad bogey down number two where people making birdies and eagles. It got blocked out with my tee shot. Tried to hook it around the trees and just caught it heavy and didn't carry the rubbish and you know made a really scruffy six. But you know, I played played solid all day and then sort of got it going from seven in really. Um, <laughs> started to hold some putts. Yeah, I missed a few early on. Uh, but I, you know, like I say, I stayed patient and you know, obviously Steve was going mad around the front nine. Um, didn't follow that all the way around because of scoring, you know, scoring boards any, every other hole on the front nine. Um, but back nine, I sort of knew what was going on ahead and just sort of stuck to the task really. You know, tried to, tried to make it a competition tomorrow really because he was, you know, he was getting away from everyone. Um, we don't want that come Sunday. We want some sort of um, competitive uh, day tomorrow, hopefully. <clears throat> Questions? Paul, when you see, you know, Stricker, you know, home course type guy, you know, moving up leaderboard, and then I don't know if you could see what Miguel was doing early, you know, 10 under through 12 or oh, something. Was he? Yeah, I was. And no, yeah. I didn't. I didn't see it. I mean, does, I didn't that, know that. does that, you know, change anything in between the years about it, what you need to do? It's, I think you just still just have to let it happen. You know, you can't go chasing it. If you start chasing it, you, you start missing putts and stuff. You've just got to, that's, that's why I play anyway. Try and let it happen rather than go and chasing it. Um, that's what I did today and that's, you know, that's what I'm going to have to do tomorrow. Well, you know? Along those lines, I guess, um, this is a little unique. I mean, it, it's truly a home course advantage and, and, and cheering for one. Oh, yeah. that's, I'm, that's... I'm going to, I'm going to have two fans out there tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a wife and my caddy. <laughs> Can you prepare for that to a degree? Is it something where you just sort of realize it, feel it that first hole open, and then, uh, then it's... No, I, you know, I've played with Steve a few times, and you know, I always enjoy playing with him. He's a great player, and you, know, you, you try and feed off him, really, the way he swings it, the, his rhythm, his putting stroke. He's, you know, he's the guy to copy, really. So, you know, I'll just go out there and, and give it my best shot. You know, I know I'm gonna, gonna probably have to shoot another low one. You know, what's he's on that 54 rounds, is it, under par? You know, so, uh, well, you know, I just want to make it competitive tomorrow, you know, not let him get away from, you know, and have a, a clear run in back nine. Did what you do today, was it the best in the broad house? Broad uh, house yes, yeah, my son struggled today, he was a couple over, so, uh, yeah, I'm number one in the broader house <laughs> today, so I'll be giving him some stick to that tonight.